Hello everyone, this is Steve at WordPress on a Budget. And in the last video on Jackmail, we installed this free newsletter plugin and went over some of the features and settings for it. And now I want to go ahead and start a campaign. So the first thing we want to do is create a list. Now you'll notice that you know, like before, the very first thing that Jackmail does is create a list with all the users that's on your WordPress. So we're going to create a new list. We're going to call this list Newsletter. Hit OK. Now if you already have a list, you can copy and paste it in here. You can select a file and import it or you can do a manual entry. Of course, we don't have any. We're just starting this brand new. So I'm going to go back to campaigns. And this is just the way I'm going to do it. Of course, you could go over here and go to templates and create your template if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and start. You want to give your campaign a name. We'll call it newsletter. We're going to select the list. And of course, we'll select the list that we just created. Come down here and hit Next. And then it's going to load in a template. And then we can go up here and change the template if we want to go through the email builder. Um, this happens to be the one I like anyway, so we'll use it. And hopefully, you can see that. It, the possibilities if you're an email marketer with an ebook, you know, you can send gorgeous looking email instead of those that everybody else sends. Or if you're marketing, you can send products, or there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, first off, over here, you can pick what type of template you want to do, it'll give you different color options. Um, you can hit all these options down here for colors if you want to change it. Uh, I would click apply to all elements. That way you're changing the whole newsletter. You can change colors. Pick whatever color you want. Uh, if you don't like any of those colors, you can go in and name each one that you want to go and do. And then you have settings. You enable the mobile version display. I mean, there's your taxonomy, uh, the spaces between the blocks. This thing is amazing as far as being able to customize what you want to do. And then the contents works just like your um, a page builder does. If you want a column or a two column, you just click it, drag it, and drop it. If you don't want an image we can cancel that confirm now we're going to put static content in here I can search for an article I can pick categories and I happen to have just some fake blog posts in here so we'll jack that one in there then there you can just put it with a little sample you could put the full article in there. Um, you could do full width or floating image or no image at all. Uh, article, article link with a button or you can put text. So I'll leave it just the way it is and hit port. And now you just put in your latest blog post. Follow this link. has a link to the article in it. You can link to an opt-in form, an email online version, whatever you want to opt into. You can here you change all the um, topography, change the font, center it, change them, make it turquoise, make it whatever color you want to make it. But hopefully you can see you can add in text, so you can put in a little link to an ebook if you're marketing ebooks. 
maybe a little sample of it, maybe your uh, table of contents with a download here. Um, if you're selling products, if you're an Amazon affiliate or whatever, you can put your top few products in here, whatever's on sale. And then one of the last things you can do is right up here, you can give it a check to see what it looks like on the phone. But everything in here is customizable. You can change whatever you want to change. All you got to do is just click on it. And change which. Or if you want to. If this isn't your deal. You can go in and do. A template from scratch. So here it is. You can send a test to yourself. From the recipient. It all gets filled out for you. Uh, if it's wrong, like there's no subject, I can correct it. There's no recipient, obviously, because there's nobody in our email list right now. And then just hit send. And if this doesn't work for you, you hit templates. And here is the Jackmail template category. So you can pick one of these, like say if you had products, um, pictures, these are nicely done templates for you to start with. I'm sure they'll be adding more. And if none of this really fits what you want to do, you go over here and just create one from scratch. And it works like we saw, just like a page builder. You can just drag and drop segments and information and whatever you want to want to do in there. But now that you got it made, we can go to Appearance and Widgets. Okay, we'll find the Jackmail widget. Give it a title. Learn how to spell. We'll select our list. We'll hit save. Now I really love this plugin, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably not the best feature that it has. It's a little lacking. But that's it. Subscribe today, email, and send. Uh, like I said, it's a little lacking in design, a little lacking in options and color. But there are solutions. And I, next video, I'll go over that solution, which is we're going to hook newsletter up with the Ninja Forms. So we're going to use Ninja Forms to create a very nice subscribe box and hook it into our newsletter list and make it look a little bit better. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is, like I said, a fantastic plug-in for free. Um, I hope that you can see that in linking to an ebook or or linking to products, sending out better looking than most newsletters with your links and everything in it it's just i think this is just great and then you'll see here you can set up an automated workflow and we'll go over that in another visit too so as soon as somebody subscribes they get something um as soon as somebody answers they get something so hopefully you enjoyed this and you got something out of it, if you did, please hit the subscribe button down below. And until next time, see you.